Assalamu alaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Anwash and we are back with another one watch five new looks, right? So where I take a look or I give you uh, my selection of five straps for this particular watch, which is the Hamilton Kaki Field Mechanical. So um, the goal of this particular style of video is that um, so is that sometimes you don't really want to get yourself a new watch, but you want that new look. So one of the way that is available for you is just to swap out the straps on your uh, watch, right? So um, this one is a, like I mentioned just now, this is my Hamilton Kaki Film Mechanical in 38 millimeters. So that is the diameter of the watch and it lacks a lot of 47 millimeters. So making it quite a large looking 38 millimeters watch but the thickness guys so the thickness of this particular watch is just 9.6 millimeters so very very thin it is held by because of this this one is using a mechanical hand wind eta 2801 movement so very very cool and easy to hand wind this movement right so um yep let's just go straight to strap number one which is this para trooper strap <clears throat> i think they call this black bay <laughs> right so yeah, for obvious reasons right so this is the para trooper strap from cns was it cns shop or is it cns watches locker i'm not remember so, so basically that is the old the new name for the i can't say that website name because of maybe some trading trademark uh, trademark something i'm not really sure but they come from cns right so i, I will leave a link down below right so um of course we have this um, elastic material but in this, this this time around it is a single pass style and we have this uh this adjuster with these two loops to make sure that it will not move around right so at the end of this strap yeah you can see that i've used this for more than one year already some of it some of the end of the strap will you know will just fray like that but of course you can just uh, go get your lighter cigarette lighter and just you know just burn it off right so um we have this hook here with this cns logo on top and yeah let's just put it on the wrist but before we do that let's do a quick wristwatch check today i am wearing my san martin sn01071 look and you will know what this watch is an homage of so i'm not going to be saying any model name or any other, any other brand name other than what i'm showing here so yep of initial review is already live on my youtube channel channel somewhere last week so please do check it out if you guys are interested right so i'm i have a 6.75 or 17 centimeters in cent seven centimeters wrist so this is how the watch looks very very cool in my opinion yeah and of course if you want it to be tighter you can just adjust this whole this loop but yeah for me it looks very very nice of course this one has that <coughs> elastic material so it is easy for us especially in, in malaysia because it is very very sometimes it's very very hot sometimes it's very very sweaty and sometimes it is very very wet so this is where this style of elastic straps really come in handy right so next up is another uh, elastic style strap so this time around i'm gonna be using i'm gonna be showing you guys this one this um green color elastic strap from san martin right so this is a double two pass style strap so um again similar uh elastic material but a, li a little bit much a little bit um you know higher quality so this one feels a little bit stiff yeah because they they sell this for like what uh 10 to 7 to 10 bucks right so this one is cost a bit more but mainly that cost this thing costs more i don't know, 7 to 18 bucks because it is using a very very beautifully done um brush uh buckle with this polish uh, polish side so i think the finishing on this thing on this buckle is very very good and we have of course we have this fixed keepers here and the movable keeper keeper here that is also very very substantial and looks interesting as well right so because this is a double pass style strap so i'm just going to be putting this quick release pin back into the watch case or watch lug so you can see that the lug to lug is still the, there's a huge gap between this the case and the spring bar here that makes it you know so if you guys are using it on two piece strap you will see that gap there so that is why when you use this you use this watch on a nato strap it will help to solve that problem right so i think green looks cool or looks beautiful on a brown uh, or on brown dial colorway so what do you guys think so yeah let's just see how uh, how many more holes do we have in here so i am on the i can go to number four or number 
or the third hole so that is okay so the third hole is going to be a bit too tight for me you know, you know what let's just go to the fourth hole right so stuck it to the keepers and you can see that there are still tons of materials left so maybe people with up to I don't know guys, 8.5 inches can still use this, use this particular strap, so yeah, that is very very cool. And you can adjust this to make sure that the end of the strap won't flap around. Right, so they, there is the second strap which is this elastic strap from San Martin. I think they also have some khaki color but you know what, for the sake of giving you something that looks a bit different, so I opt for this uh, green um, colorway, right, so very very cool right so next up is another um strap from saint martin of course all <laughs> right so uh saint martin has kindly sent these straps for free for me to review and show to you guys so yeah if you guys are interested do do go to the saint martin saint martin watch accessory store on aliexpress and you can use nm watch 05 to get five dollars discount of any purchase that is above 40 us dollars so how cool is that right so next up is this what do you call this linen style strap <laughs> they, they they put it there they they mentioned it as a linen style strap so you can see that the texture is a bit different compared to that one so this time around the material is material is not um, stretchy but rather very very soft and right so it, I, I don't know how to how to sh how to tell you guys but it is very very so but a good the good thing is that these holes right so they are still they are okay so because they add some comp some comp now nylon compound compound here so that they can hit seal this hole so that is why you can see that the holes are still okay no fraying whatsoever um they come in this green and also a few other colorways as well I, I think i have green and also gray which looks cool in my opinion and it has that military vibe to it right so again similar setup fixed keepers here movable keeper here but the only difference now is that it has this brush chamfer right so yeah very very nice and it looks very very tooly in my opinion again similar um san martin uh, buckle with a brush and polish finishing on the side so which is looks very very substantial and i think one of the um, best option that is available uh, in the market today for this style of strap which is quite rare in my opinion right so that's i am on the third hole you can see that we still have tons of materials left for you guys if you guys have bigger wrist than mine and yep slot that back in and slot it back to the second keeper so that you can tuck it back in and so that it won't do not uh, flop around but the one <laughs> problem here is that you can see that the material is so soft so you, when you tucking your when you do this it's going to be a bit tricky to get it get it back inside here so there you have it guys so this is the san martin uh, linen braid <laughs> <laughs> they call it linen strap on the uh, Hamilton khaki field mechanical awesome awesome watch sorry awesome awesome strap on and on a great watch in my opinion at least right so what do you guys think about this Hamilton khaki field mechanical right so let's just take it off and go to strap number four which is another strap from AliExpress right this time around I think I've got this from what was it Ju long i think right so yep this is a Ju long strap so where we have this um seat belt style material with this black uh, beige and silver colorway so this time around of course this one is costing about i think less than 10 us dollars that's why you can you have this simple setup uh fixed keepers here with a brush finishing luckily and i just love this small buckle because it doesn't add bulk to the wash right? so to the strap right so super duper soft and supple and of course very nice stitching here <coughs> on the circular holes right so let's just slide it in i think what do they call this right nttd colorway <laughs> bond uh, the new bond NTTD colorway so i think it looks cool because it has that beige color to match this uh, beige uh, hands on the on the hamilton and yeah what do you guys think right so of course they have tons of other colorways as well your normal bond there's the green there's the gray i think so yeah of course great tons of options available to you on aliexpress guys yeah 
Okay, tag with it back in and you can see that it looks cool in my opinion. What do you guys think? So yeah, it, it, it does add some interest, but of course it elevates a bit. I know, elevates the watch a bit on what it is on wrist, but I don't really mind it because yeah, I think this is a very, very lightweight watch. So you don't really, you know, you, you don't really feel it well while it is on the wrist. Right, so legs up is strap number five, which is the last strap for today. <clears throat> so if you guys hear my voice is not as good as usual it's not as loud as usual because i still have that sore throat going on here so this one is the ballistic nylon from vario singapore but this is not your typical ballistic nylon because we have this sergeant logo here which is for me it looks very very cool um we have this sergeant patch right not sergeant logo sergeant patch they also sell the version without the sergeant patch but you know what i think <laughs> i think this looks very very cool especially on when it is being used on this military style uh, watch right so um zulu style keepers here and zulu style buckle with that vario stamp logo on the top and yeah because the the huge gap between this this spring bar and the case so i don't really have any problem threading the watch to the, the strap onto the watch so normally when i put this strap on other watch i have to use i have to take off the spring bar and put it put it like from i have to put the strap first and then put the spring bar but this time around because of that huge gap there's no issues whatsoever check that out guys so yeah khaki color on a brown dial watch i think it looks awesome of course they also comes in blue uh, i think in black or even in green i think so but i think for something uh, that looks um like a military watch i think khaki is the best colorway what do you guys think of that all right so let's just try to put it <laughs> on the wrist from behind the camera guys so so, so sorry so let's just be like that and try it on the first keeper and also to the second keeper uh, but you know so i am on the sixth hole here so we still have about six or seven holes left so people with you know maybe um up to seven seven point five can still use this particular seven point five inch can still use this particular strap but if you guys have bigger than that maybe you should ask ivan from um from Vario Singapore if they have something longer of course when you shop around shop at Vario you can use my NM watch 8 NM watch 08 discount code to get 8% discounts right so but yeah it is good it is good in my opinion because you can you can have much much more discounts right so and of course sometimes Vario's produce have this um, year end sale or something like that something similar so yeah do take advantage of those uh, available coupons right so there you have it guys my five different strap for this uh, awesome looking watch this is again the hamilton khaki feel uh, mechanical which has been i think for anyone that is looking for their first um swiss made uh feel watch you can't go wrong with this thing yes the loom sucks but it looks so damn cool I don't care all right so anyways <laughs> if you guys like this video please give this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye